Hello everyone, welcome to the shop. This is Jason Simpson of Simpson Guitars and this is the first video blog for our latest project called the Lady Era Celtic Guitar. Something that we're very excited about around here. We thought you might like to get in on the experience so we're going to be posting periodic uh, production videos behind the scenes uh, for your enjoyment so hope you'll come along and enjoy the ride. The Lady Era Celtic guitar was inspired while my wife Mandy and I were vacationing in Ireland in April of 2012. It was a very special trip in many ways for us and we really enjoyed ourselves as we experienced the rich culture, food, people, and gorgeous landscapes. From the cliffs of Moore overlooking the Atlantic Ocean to the Rock of Cashel to the cozy cottage towns we passed through frequently, it was truly a trip that we'll never forget. There was just such a magical feel to the whole experience that I really wanted to capture the essence of that and put it into a one-of-a-kind guitar. Good morning. Today is August the 22nd and I'm just on my way out to the shop so I'm going to come along and see what's happening in the shop. I'm about to glue in the kerfings to the sides of the Lady Era guitar and I'm going to be using some special kerfings made by Kevin Ryan called A4 Kerfing. Um, <clears throat> really neat in that they flex in all four directions which makes it uh, well suited for gluing to the radius back. As you can see it rises and falls around the perimeter um, because of the arched back. And so traditionally kerfings only flex this way which makes it a problem as you're going around. Um, it doesn't want to bend back down as you go and follow the, the contour of the back. So this does that beautifully. So um, let's get busy.
thanks for watching our first video blog for the Lady Era Celtic guitar. I want to invite you back for the next one. And I'm going to be talking about a unique inlay technique, something that I call 3D inlay. So, I think you'll want to see it.